Hello Qigong enthusiasts. So I shared recently a video that explained from my perspective how Qigong works. And now I'd like to roll out a series of videos that will give you some actual Qigong exercises to help you start achieving some of the benefits of Qigong. And so we're gonna start with wood element Qigong. Uh, as you know, the five elements, or as you may know, each element is associated with a particular season and the wood element is associated with springtime. So I figured we're in the midst of spring and now's a good time to practice wood element Qigong. And we're gonna start really simple and we'll build video by video on helping you to release the negative attributes of the wood element and build up the positive attributes of the wood element. So if you have struggles with anger, impatience, frustration, letting go, uh, control issues. Um, none of us have any of that, right? No, no problem there. Uh, those are some of the negative attributes of the wood element. So we get really impatient and irritable and frustrated. Um, on the flip side, we cultivate patience. We cultivate forgiveness and kindness are some of the positive attributes associated with the wood element. And so the other thing about the wood element is it helps you if you're feeling that your life is very chaotic and unorganized. The wood element characteristics are very adept at taking your visions and your ideas and your goals and then not just thinking about them but putting them into a plan and a really well-structured routine and regimen to really make your goals and dreams come true. That's really what the liver and the gallbladder, those are the two internal organs associated with the wood element are. That's really what they help you build as you cultivate the wood element. So we're gonna just do two really simple exercises. And I'm hoping from not just this exercise, but in the ones that follow, that you'll be able to utilize these and achieve a few things. Number one, we always start by letting go in our practice. So first releasing anger. And this means in the short term. So if you're finding yourself irritable, you have some tools to just really shift your attitude and your energy and flip it to being patient and kind and affirming patience and kindness. Um, so that was the second thing, building your patience, building kindness. And the third is another kind of higher level spiritual practice associated with the wood element is really being able to see the good in others and you can see how that kind of ties in when you're angry or frustrated or impatient with someone. If you can flip and change your perspective of what you're viewing in that other person, it really can shift your emotion very quickly. And that's a way that we can use the spiritual principles associated with the elements to just really flip our energy. And of course, you know that when you're feeling negative emotion, your body's going to suffer too. And so specifically, I mentioned the liver and the uh, gallbladder, those are the wood element internal organs. We're gonna practice some affirmations that ground you in your body. So you're gonna be focusing on those particular internal organs and mainly just the liver. The liver is the yin organ and that's the one that we practice with primarily is the yin organ because it's responsible for storing all of that energy, the good and the bad. The gallbladder or the yang organs are responsible for releasing and expelling energy. So for the healing practices, we utilize the yin organs, which in ca this case is the liver. So we'll get started with just two affirmations. So you can use these hopefully in the next two or three days. Uh, you can practice them. I like to practice the first one at uh, bedtime, just kind of releasing negative emotion from the day. So what you'll do, you'll just focus on your liver, which is easy. It's the biggest, I don't know how this looks on your side, but your liver is on the right side and it's the biggest internal organ. So you'll put your attention there and you're gonna not repeat these verbally, like a lot of affirmations, but you can just say them along in your head. So take a moment and just relax and focus your attention on your liver. So if you can imagine your internal organ and the affirmation goes like this. Breathing in, I feel my liver. Breathing out, I release my anger. 
and you exhale through your mouth in this first one because we're letting go of stagnant energy and your mouth's a great way to do that so you can do this a few times breathing in i feel my liver Breathing out, I release my anger. And you feel that area of your body letting go of tension. Feel around the solar plexus and on your right side. Just anywhere that sensations come up. Breathing in, I feel my liver. Breathing out, I release my anger. We'll do one more, and you want to try to breathe right directly into the internal organ. Imagine it expanding as you inhale. So feel your liver. Breathing in, I feel my liver. Breathing out, I release my anger. So you can practice that one all by itself, but I'm going to share one more. And that first one we practiced is a yin qigong exercise which is releasing or letting go and we want to do just like we inhale and we exhale it's best if you combine a yin with a yang so this next one is more of an inhale and it's to gather and restore and accumulate fresh energy or positive information so with this one you can breathe in and out through your nose because we close our mouth when we're accumulating energy in qigong so with this one, we're going to use the healing color, which is green for the wood element. And then we're going to cultivate the positive virtues, patience, and kindness. It's really, really simple, but very powerful. Okay, so you feel your liver. Okay, breathing in. Green light fills my liver. Breathing out. I'm patient and kind. Feel your liver and imagine green light filling your liver. Breathing in, I feel green light fill my liver. Breathing out, I'm patient and kind. And let's do that one one more time. Feel your liver, liver green light. Breathing in, green light fills my liver. Breathing out, I'm patient and kind. Okay, so I hope you can use those in the next long period of your life, but in the next couple days before I share another video, Practice with those, and especially when you just catch yourself feeling irritable, impatient, or angry, just flip it around and practice one of those that works, whether it's the releasing or just go right to breathing in, green light fills my liver, breathing out, I'm patient and kind. And you'll be able to flip your energy and remember too, seeing the good in others, especially if you're angered by some interaction with someone, see the good in that person and see how it shifts your energy and your emotion. So stay tuned and I'll be sharing some more videos uh, in the next couple days.